everyone, myself Shruvangi Desai, I am your instructor for the video series of Python for Data Science. Today's our topic is reading data from CSV file. So let's get started. Now the first thing we need to understand is what is CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. A CSV file is a simple text file in which information is separated by commas. CSV files are most commonly encountered in spreadsheets and databases. Each line of the file is data record and each record consists of one or more fields, which is separated by commas. The use of the comma as a field separator is the source of the name for this file format. Now, in order to read the data from the CSV file using Python, we need to use the pandas library. Well, Pandas is a fast, powerful, flexible and easy to use open source data analysis and manipulation tool which is built on top of the Python programming language. In particular, it offers data structures as well as the operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series. So let's start with the programming that how we can extract data from CSV file using Pandas. So for that we first have to import the pandas library using import pandas and here I have given the alias name pd for pandas using as keyword that is import pandas as pd. Now to read the data from the csv file we have to use the read csv method. So it will extract the data from the csv file and store it into the data frame object. Here df is the data frame object. In bracket we have to pass the name of the csv file. So here I have passed csv underscore one dot csv file. When I write df it will show the data frame. It will return the values that is stored inside the data frame object. So let's run this code. Here as you can notice it returns the values from my csv file which contains four columns called name, age, state and points and different records. Now, if you want to check how many columns are there inside your CSV file, you can do that using df.columns. It will return the list of all the columns stored inside your CSV file. So as you can see here, it returned me the name of all the four columns that is name, age, state and point. Now. Next is use calls. If you want to extract particular columns only, that is if you want to filter out some of the records before reading the whole data frame into memory, you can do that using use calls parameter. For that, we have to use the read CSV file in which first we will pass the file name that is in our case CSV underscore one and second for use calls parameter, we will pass the list of all the columns that I want to display. So here I have passed the value name and age. So when I print the value of data frame, it will return me only the value of two columns that is name and age, which is specified inside the use calls parameter. Now next is skip initial space. So here you can see the CSV file in which there are some white spaces before some of the records right so if you want to remove this white spaces you can use this skip initial space where the default value of this parameter is false but if you want to remove the space we have to set the value to true so when i run this code it will remove all the white spaces from the file now this is all about the reading data from the file but what about if we want to write the data inside the csv file right so to write the data inside the csv file we have the method to underscore csv we need to use the df object that is the data frame object and when we use this object along with the to csv file it will convert the given series object into a comma separated format which means all the data stored inside this object will now be converted into the comma separated file that is the csv file so here in to csv method i have passed the name that is the name of my new file that will be created using this to csv method that is sample.csv so let's run this code 
here you can see in my folder there is a file called sample.csv which is created by the 2csv method when i open this file you can see all this data that is stored in df object is now been stored in this sample.csv file right here all this records has the index value that is 0 to 11 right and all these objects also have the header names that is name age state and point now if you want to remove this index value as well as the header we can do that using this index is equal to false and header is equal to false also we can restrict the number of columns as well using columns parameter so here i have used this uh, 2csv function in which i have passed the file name that is sample.csv in which i am restricting the columns with name and age only and setting the index is equal to false and header is equal to false. So let's run this code. Now when I read the data from sample.csv, so you can see that my record contains only the data and not the header. That is not the column name. If you open the sample.csv file, you can see that now in my records, there is no header name as well as no index because I have said index is equal to false and header is equal to false. You can also check that how many columns are that in the sample.csv using df.columns method. So that is all about reading data from CSV file as well as writing data to CSV file. That's it for this lecture. Thank you.